Hey guys, uh, today I want to show you a short trip I made to the city of Mina and I'm here today to just show you what the road is like traveling from Abuja to Mina. This first section is the way from Abuja to Kaduna, is the Kaduna Expressway. Uh, some of it has been uh, fixed recently and they're still ongoing fixing it. We had to drive all the way from Abuja, get to Zuba, then on our way. Then again, there is this problem that you always find on this highway, which is trailer loads of vehicles always on the road. As you can see here, there are so many of them and they clog up the place. Because I was using a public transport, our driver had to get off the main road trying to figure out how to get to uh, the way to Mina. Eventually got to this point where we had to make a U-turn and we turned and we headed to Mina. Baby girl, let the ice break. Give you all what your life is. I know what I say. Give me baby girl another night. When you want something, come on, you can ask and I never say no. You know what I say. Upgrade and nice, I can get you some. I met a girl from the UK. She want something, she call and check in yeah. You know, you know I answer when you call and check in Tell me what's the case, what's the matter Tell me what's your name, looking fantastic Dark skin like Fanta Danger how she move, no Panta Yeah. 
For now, going to Mina has always been something I've dreaded because of the bad road. The, this, the, the journey used to take over three hours before from Abuja to Mina, but with the present condition of the road, some places have been fixed. The journey has actually come down to about two hours, 20 minutes or thereabout. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh All things must pass. And uh, here we are on this trip. I just want to point out some of the places that we'll be finding on the street. I'm going to put their names on the screen so that you can see them as we go along. It's steady because I'm happy. I'm not going to wait. No, no, not yet. Whoa. It feels like I'm lying every time Someone ask how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh Things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up This is what I think about road, road trips in this country because for you guys know I do a lot of road trip and I like traveling. Hey guys, that is why I always ask for you guys. I need a new Tacoma to go on, <laughs> on these trips that I'm planning because this year, 2022, I have a lot of trips that I've planned out to do and i know i need a good truck if you guys want to support this work that i do please you can go down to the description of this video i have a patreon page you guys can be part of my patrons help me grow this channel help me if you love this kind of work that i do and all this traveling that i do if you want to support me please it would be nice to have you guys as part of this family really it would be really nice to have you guys for those who are already part of it i'm really grateful thank you guys for being my patron for supporting me on this journey so i feel that roads should be maintained all the time the federal government sometimes allow this road to deteriorate to a point that it becomes not just uh, a risk to the road users but also it attracts what i will call uh, bad people to use these roads to attack the people that are using the road like what we know recently in this country most time when bandits attack people it is where the road is bad where the people slow down and the vehicles can't speed that is where they mount their weights and wait for people and when they come they get attacked and they get kidnapped i'm not saying that it happens every day in this country but we all know this is the situation of the country and it happens if these roads are properly taken care of i don't think things like this will happen you understand because it will actually stop all these kind of things on the road
was yours was a taken Guess I needed a home But if I'm not mistaken You were good on your own oh. And I know, and I know I was drunk enough Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up, yeah Now I'm truly awakened, oh. So you wanna talk again But it's time I do this my way Security is something we cannot just play away. We know it happens all the time. And I know people always tell me, Big girls, how do you manage driving on this road? And you, every time you're always traveling on the road. I want to believe, and I know, not just I want to believe, these things that happen on the road don't happen all the time. 99.9% .9 of Nigerians travel by road. It's only a small percentage that can afford to fly from one place to another. The rest of us travel by road and when the condition or when something happens that news that negative news get published and publicized are repeated over and over over and over again and it becomes the news becomes the whole thing and nobody actually sees the good that is also there that people still travel by road the bad news becomes a thing
guys i just want to thank you for watching this video with me thank you for taking your time because i just really want to say i appreciate you guys and if you've decided to be part of this family by going to the patreon page to follow me you'll see some of the list of things that i really want to get if you decide to support me you can support me with ten dollar a month twenty dollars five dollar depends on what you want to support with me you can decide to say okay every month i want to support big wheels with this i will be very very grateful if you guys do that thank you very much you can follow me on instagram at big wheels photography and big wheels picture this see you guys in the very next one ciao we'll